Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics, unit five, lesson 14, solving problems with rational numbers. Problem number one from seventh grade unit four, lesson 11. A furniture store pays a wholesale price for a mattress. Then the store marks up the retail price to 150% of the wholesale price. Later, they put the mattress on sale for 50% off of the retail price. A customer just bought the mattress on sale and paid $1,200. A. What was the retail price of the mattress before the discount? The customer paid $1,200 for the mattress and they got it for 50% off the retail price. $1,200 is 50% of $2,400, so the retail price was $2,400. B. What was the wholesale price before the markup? Since it was marked up 150%, we can ask what number times 150% equals 2,400? We can rewrite that as N times 1.5 equals 2,400. Next, solve for N by dividing both sides by 1.5. N times 1.5 divided by 1.5 equals N. And on the right side, 2,400 divided by 1.5 equals 1,600. So the wholesale price before the markup was $1,600. Problem number two. The table shows transactions in a checking account. A. Find the total of transactions for each month. Let's start with January. They begin January with a withdrawal of $38.50. They put into the bank $126.30. That's a difference of $87.80. We can add that to the positive $429.40. And that new balance is $517.20. And then finally, we're going to take away another $265. And that gives us an ending balance for January of $252.20. Now let's look at the month of February. They start by depositing $250 and then a withdrawal where they subtracted $135.20 from their account, leaving a balance of $114.80. But then they deposited $35.50, making the account balance $150.30. And the last transaction in February was a withdrawal of $62.30 leaving them a February account balance of $88. Let's look at March. They start with a withdrawal of $14, followed by a deposit of $99.90, leaving a temporary balance of $85.90, another withdrawal of $82.70, leaving a temporary balance of just $3.20, and the last transaction was a withdrawal of $1.50, leaving the March balance at just $1.70. Last, let's look at the month of April. They start with a withdrawal of $86.80, followed by another withdrawal of $570, leaving a temporary balance of $656.80, Finally, they deposited $100. That brought the temporary balance up to negative $556.80 and then made a final withdrawal of $280.10, leaving the ending balance in April at a negative $836.90. B. Find the mean total for the four months. The mean total for the four months is negative $123.75 because $252.20 plus $88 plus $1.70 plus a negative $836.90 divided by four equals a negative $123.75. Problem number three. A bank charges a service fee of $7.50 per month for a checking account. A bank account has $85. If no money is deposited or withdrawn except the service charge, how many months until the account balance is negative? We could think of this as 
85 plus negative $7.50 times X equals zero. And in this case, X represents number of months. Now, all we have to do is solve for X. Subtract 85 from both sides. Now we're left with negative 7.5X equals negative 85. Divide both sides by negative 7.5 and X equals 11.3 repeating. That's more than 11 months. It would take 12 months before the account balance is negative. Problem number four. A large aquarium of water is being filled with a hose. Due to a problem, the sensor does not start working until some time into the filling process. The sensor starts its recording at the time zero minutes. The sensor initially detects the tank has 225 liters of water in it. A. The hose fills the aquarium at a constant rate of 15 liters per minute. What will the sensor read at the time? 5 minutes. Okay, the total amount of water is going to equal the rate of change times the number of minutes plus the initial amount of water. We can write the equation T equals 15 times 5 plus 225. The 15 represents the constant rate at which the water is being filled. The 5 represents the 5 minutes that you're filling the tank. And the plus 225 represents the number of liters that the sensor initially detected in the tank. And the T represents the total amount of water. After 5 minutes, the sensor would read 300 liters of water in the tank. B. Later, someone wants to use the data to find the amount of water at times before the sensor started. What should the sensor have read at the time negative seven minutes? We can use the previous equation, but we'll substitute the five with a negative seven. Now we have T equals 15 times negative seven plus 225. Since 15 times negative seven equals negative 105, T equals 225 minus 105. So T equals 120. At the negative seven minute mark, there should have been 120 liters in the tank. Problem number five from seventh grade unit four, lesson 10. A, a restaurant bill is $21. You leave a 15% tip. How much do you pay including the tip? It's $21 times a 15% tip. We can rewrite this as 21 times 0 0.15 which equals $3.15. So you'd leave a $3.15 tip. Add that to the price of the bill. The total amount paid, including the tip, would be $24.15. B, which of the following represents the amount a customer pays, including the tip of 15%, if the bill was B dollars? Select all that apply. 15% of the bill plus the bill. We could rewrite that as 0 0.15 times B, representing 15% of the bill, plus B, representing the actual bill. The first part of this expression, 0 0.15 B represents the tip, and then plus B, that represents the bill. 0 0.15 is also 15 hundredths. And we can write 15 hundredths as a fraction like this, 15 over 100. 15 hundredths times B plus B. The order doesn't matter. We can also rewrite this as B plus 15 hundredths B. This is a match with F. Let's go back to the 15 hundredths written as a decimal. We have 0 0.15 B plus B. Again, we can rewrite the order and we have B plus 15 hundredths times B or B plus 0 0.15 B. That's a match with C. This represents B times 0 0.15 plus B times 1. Since 0 0.15 plus 1 is 1 1.15, we can write this as B times 1.15. 
the order doesn't matter. We can multiply 1.15 times B and it has the same value. This is a match with D. The only matches are C, D, and F. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.